setting up a sales-oriented YouTube video. Hey there everyone! We just walk you through the steps necessary to create and optimize a high converting YouTube channel for your business. And now we are ready to move to the next step. That's right, we're about to show you how to set up a sales-oriented video. We know you've been anticipating this lesson, because video is where the meat is, and your expectations are right, because we are going to show you not only how to upload the video, but also how to apply the optimizations that will help you attract viewers and convert. Getting started. Let's start off by uploading your video. By this point, you should have a video ready to publish. So go to the YouTube homepage while logged into your channel and click on the Profile Menu button. Next, click on the YouTube Studio option in the menu. Once on the YouTube Studio dashboard, click on the Create button. Then click on the Upload Video option. Now you are going to click on Select File. Locate the video file that you are going to upload from your computer and double click on it to start the upload. The video will start uploading and you can continue the job by customizing it and adding your optimizations. Customizing the video. Okay, let's start by composing the video title in the title field. Here, you are going to type the title of your video. Don't try to be too original. Simply describe the content of the video and add the keywords or search terms that best describe that content well, like we're doing in this example. As you can see, we added one of the top search terms we found during our keyword research and we added the name of our business at the end of the title to differentiate it from the rest of the videos on the results page. Alright, now it is time to compose the video description in the description field below. Again, the secret here is to add a brief summary of the content in your video filled with keywords and search terms. Here, you are not as restricted by space, so we recommend you add from 3 to 5 keywords and search terms the ones that are most relevant to the video. It is also important that you add an action URL with a call to action at the end of the description. That way, you can instruct viewers to click on the URL to discover a product or offer at a given point during the video, and they'll simply have to scroll down a bit and click while they're still engaged. Now click on Upload Thumbnail to upload a custom thumbnail for your video. Always add custom thumbnails to your videos instead of using a segment of your video as thumbnail. Alright, now select the No, It's Not Made for Kids option under Audience and click on More Options. Here are the additional configurations that you are going to do. First, insert your keywords and search terms in the Tags field. Next, select the language of your video. Now click on the Category menu button and select the correct category of your video. Done? OK, then let's click on Next to move to the next step. Now it is time to add video elements to your video. There are two types of video elements you can add. End screen are elements that you can add at the end of the video, and cards are elements that you can add during the video. These elements are on-screen buttons that you can use as CTAs to encourage viewers to complete an action during or at the end of the video. Let's show you a quick example. Let's add a subscribe CTA and a recommended video card at the end of the video. For this, click on the Add button corresponding to Add an End Screen. Once on the End Screen's window, click on Plus Element. Next, click on the Subscribe option. The editor will insert the subscribe card at a point near the end of your video but you can select a different time. Now click again on Plus Element and select Video. Now select the Best for Viewer option and click on Save. Awesome job! Once you are done adding your video elements, click on Next to continue. On the following window, select the Public option, then click on the Publish button. And that'll be it! You can copy the video link provided by YouTube to share your video on your other social channels. But you can hold on to this for a bit, because we'll be showing you how to share and embed your video in a couple of upcoming lessons. Stay tuned.